Hey everyone, Metagross Freak here, and oh my gosh, you're probably thinking, what's with all this text? Well, I saw today on one of the League of Legends Reddit uh, discussion pages an idea of how to make an LGBT character that isn't, I don't know, demeaning, that basically does it right. Um, basically, League of Legends has announced, their creative director has announced that they will be making LGBT, officially, like out of the closet LGBT characters, but um, that they need more time to make them good. You know, we don't want to have a character. We don't have want to have more characters like Tarek, who, or at least old Tarek, who are basically like, yeah, they're gay. Can't you tell how flamboyant they are? Instead, we want characters more like Tracer, who everyone loves Tracer, and it's like, oh, hey, by the way, she's gay. And if you don't like that, too bad, because everyone loves Tracer. You know, anyway, so here we have um, the post. I just, I screenshotted it. I want to share it with all of you uh, from Mask for Majora's Mask. Um, and they were comparing to uh, Rayer Butcher. I have no idea who Rhea Butcher is, and I didn't bother to Google it before it started. I know um, Rhea is is a um, identifies as female and refers to her wife as you know they're they're a lesbian couple which is which is great so i would assume they're either non-gender conforming or trans and so that's really great and based on the context i'm assuming they work for riot um, but they're saying that gameplay gameplay wise to avoid criticisms they'd have to be in a much more aggressive role I mean, by avoiding um, criticisms, they mean, like, going with stereotypes. You know, if you had that femme fatale, like, vein, or that, you know, the quote-unquote boring healer, healer, like Janna, Sona, and Soraka, you'd fit into far more uh, stereotypes. You know, Tarek, for example, fits into that stereotype of being kind of that healer who's somewhat tanky, and so maybe that's, you know, if he was... If he was if he was portrayed differently, he might go off go go along better. Um, they're like, like for example, they are saying uh, characterizing an LGBT LGBT character as a fighter, regardless of whether they are um, you know gay, lesbian, trans, you know, non gender conforming, whatever they should be a more aggressive role, a character that people are going to want to play more often, not like a support or an ADC. Like They should be a top, a jungle, a mid, something along that line, lane, um, those lines. Um, I saw a post that suggested maybe that Graves and Twisted Fate could be in an implied uh, relationship, and um, some posts saying that, oh well, you know, we know that Alawi and Gangplank used to be in a relationship, but suggesting maybe Alawi is bi. I don't know. Those are all not canon, but they'd be interesting. I would love it if League could be like, oh, hey, you know Janna, that character who's been around for years? Well, you know, she's bi. Something like that. But reveal it in a way that's not like just, hey, guess who's gay? It should be in a way that makes sense, in a way that's not demeaning to the character. Um, you know, like... Ari, for example, just uh, picking a character like Ari. Ari in the, you know, the uh, fan art community is frequently shipped with Sona. Um, like, considering the fact that Ari wants to be more human, it would make sense that in it would make sense, for example, in story if they were like, "Hey, she wants to be more human. Let's have her in a relationship with a human." And it just so happens that you know she's in a relationship with another female, but they don't do that like it's some kind of like, ooh, it's so risque. They just make it like, yeah, she wants to see what it's like to be human, so she's in a relationship with a human who just so happens to be female. That's just an example that I think would be good um, of how they could do it with a current character. Or, for example, um, you know, another character they could do, they could do it with, yeah, like, like I mentioned before, like, with Graves and Twisted Fate. You know, Graves and Twisted Fate are, you know, popular characters. They've been around in League of Legends, you know, basically since the very beginning, and they've always had kind of less of a just, they had a little, you know, they've always had a more than just friends relationship. I think it'd be great if it was like, you know, I think it'd be great if they were like, hey, 
you know, what if they were more than just friends? Um, someone mentioned that in the uh, the Winter Wonderland or whatever its name is, Graveskin, the one where his shotgun is a snowblower, that in the background, Graves just has a photo of Twisted Fate, kind of implying that either they're just like really good buddies or potentially in a relationship. And I think that'd be a really good way of suggesting that. And by the way, here is uh, Mask from Majora's Mask's idea of how they'd make their, in this case, a um, either non, a, a, either a female conf a, a female identifying or a trans female character. Um, they'd give them a lance in high movement speed um, with a long auto attack range for a melee character. Um, so kind of like Rakan, you know, how Rakan has a longish, actually Rakan has a, um, a sh technically is ranged, um, because he's either very short range, may, uh, either short ranged ranged, or he's a very long ranged melee. I'm not sure which is accurate. He's either, yeah, he's either short ranged or long-ranged melee. Either way, something kind of like Rakan, but Rakan has that high movement speed. Um, something kind of like that mobility there, uh, but with low, with a, uh, with a low attack speed, of course, that would make sense considering it's a lance, you know? Lances can kind of be kind of unwieldy. It can be difficult to get them to, um, to move properly because they're just, it's so, they're so large. Um, and I'm, when I say a lance, I'm not thinking of something, I'm thinking of something not like Jarvan, because let's be honest, Jarvan has like a weird like extendo spear. I'm, th I'm thinking like they're imagining like a clat or not even a lance like a um, like cled. I think they're thinking like classic, like very conical, like jousting lance. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and it says skills that scale based on the number of friendly or neutral creatures nearby. Um, and I think that, like, it could be either minions or jungle camps, um, or, you know, even ch going off that champions, that'd make a lot of sense. You know, the more team fights, you know, basically this character would be really good in team fights, or when there's a lot of, you know, allies nearby, and I think that kind of makes sense for a LGBT character, because, you know, you gotta have, you know, being on your, being on your own, can be really hard. Like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, you know, if you're on your own, if you're don't, if you're not in communication with some of your friends, life gets a lot harder. But if you have friends to talk to, the you know the struggles of life get a lot easier. And I don't know exactly what how they would scale. You know, maybe the I think it'd be really cool if the mana costs went down, not by a lot, but it'd be like, hey, there's one minion, therefore the mana cost goes about down by one. Oh, there's seven minions here? The mana cost goes down by seven? And maybe that scales, like, you know, one for each minion, maybe, you know, five for each champion, that kind of a thing? I think that'd be really cool scaling, uh, because we don't see that with any champion. That'd be really unique. They're talking about having like a low cooldown dash, a pole style vault. They're saying I'm assuming that'd be kind of like um, kind of like fizz. But let's be honest, we don't want a fizz leap because that already is just super toxic, and we don't want another jungler with a fizz leap. And they're saying their ultimate would be a, a long distance straight line charge that damages it, damages and knocks enemies out of the way, um, and refreshes the cooldowns of other skills. Basically, that sounds a little bit like a vi or a Scion, or maybe even a Malphite kind of thing. I mean, I'd be for, down for that for a character with a Lance, but, um, anyway, this is just, that's just their idea. I know that doesn't sound super LGP, LGBTE, but um, they then talk about how the lore would be basically where they'd really put in the character, how since they are uh, female identifying, they maybe would have a you know, that they, they, they'd be in a relationship with a prince character, and that uh, the prince would be portrayed more effeminately, and that would kind of imply that they're in a queer relationship. Um, I mean, as long as they don't make it so that the prince character is, like, super effeminately gay, I'd be down for that. Um, and then the flavor text of the attacks would be putting on a good joust, a successful charge, you know, basically putting on a good show, um, and that can that kind of plays off the idea of Fiora. Um, Fiora is basically just you know her 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 line when you select her is you know I long for a worthy opponent. You know that you know so basically kind of like I'm imagining design wise 
kind of like a cross between uh, like Leona and um, Fiora's characters. And I mean, it's kind of already implied that either Leona and or Diana um, are like are LGBT anyway. So I'd be kind of interested to see something like this. Um, so yeah, I mean, heck, they could even make a character like Fiora LGBT. And um, if you've read Lux's updated lore, the way Lux's magic is treated in lore is handled very much, uh, very similarly to as if she was like gay. You know, I would not be surprised if, I mean, because th that is a straight up metaphor. If they use, if you replace the words like magic for gay, and when you're reading Lux's new lore, it is it is a perfect one-to-one -one comparison. Um, but yeah, I mean, let, read this description here, especially these two, and let me know what you think. Because um, personally, I, I am really looking forward to seeing what Riot has planned. But based on this, this sounds kind of like a little bit like a Fiora, maybe a Leona kind of character. You know, Fiora in lore, or at least in... in uh, portrayal um leona a bit in playman in playing um but yeah let me know what you think and uh, i've been metagross freak and thanks for watching this video